Uh, here we have a package that's coming from Nevada. It's an iPad Pro 12.9 inch, first gen, and it appears to have a no touch issue. Let's read what the customer said. Okay, problem, I had a broken screen, but was still working, but decided to replace, and when installing the new one, everything, but the touch works. So touch is not working. If you notice, my voice is partially gone. I uh, took a shower and went outside to the balcony, and the next thing I know, I have a sore throat and I lost my voice. I was not able to answer any calls yesterday, uh, but today I'm doing a lot better. Uh, no fever, no coughs, nothing like that, just a common sore throat. Package was mailed in like this, and let's take a look. I did not take a look at the iPad yet, so we're going to do it together after this call. And it looks like the customer disassembled the screen and mailed it in like this. There's a note here. I included both screens so you can test. Uh, so right now we have two screens. I have not tested anything, but look at this. We have three notes plus the paper that the customer mailed in. It looks like this is the old screen and the one that's on there is the new screen. So let's put this on the side and this screen should be open and not glued and yes uh, the screen looks like it's partially glued i think from the tape that was already on the ipad Hello? yes sir Hello? guy got into laptops to optimize and it turns out that both laptops they have a bad hard drive so i sent him a message asking him if he wants to move forward with the repair i could not call him because my voice was gone and now he's telling me that I tried to call you and no one answered. And uh, he's right. Okay, the screen is out. And I'm going to put all those notes on the side. Is the screen connected? Yes. The screen is connected. Uh, let's see if we can turn this tablet on. And of course, oh, here. First time I got a tablet with a charged battery. First time. So look at this, touch is not working. Okay. We do not want to disconnect the screen before disconnecting the battery first. The black shield is out. Now we're going to unscrew the battery. And now we're going to separate the battery from the motherboard. We're going to unscrew the plate that holds the LCD flex cables. We have three screws. Okay. Let's take a look at the FEC connectors area where the screen connects. And I see some issues with the FEC connector itself. I mean, look at this. We do not know what's going on with those two filters here. And we do not know what's going on with this filter here. So right off the bat, I noticed a couple of things. I noticed a damaged FEC connector. We do not know if all the pins are making a good connection or not. And I noticed discoloration on those two filters here. And I also noticed something going on with this filter, which could be white touch is not working. Uh, look at this. Let's put the meter in continuity mode and see if we have a continuous path and if this filter is good or not. Now look at that, this filter is not good. 
So the first thing I want to do is replace this filter and then test to see if touch is working. And while at it, let me just test the other two filters. Uh, these filters do not have to do anything with touch, but we're going to test them anyway. They are for the backlight and backlight on this tablet is good. Yeah, you see? So these filters are good. They look discolored because of that piece of uh, black wrap that was on top. Customer removed it and some glue was left on those components, but this one is definitely blown. We have those filters for sale on our website for those of you who does this type of work. So let's go ahead and get rid of this filter, replace it. Considering there's nothing else wrong, that should fix our no touch issue. Okay, we're gonna just prep those pads. so the job is done and the reason I applied a lot of flux is so that we do not burn the FPC connector so when there's flux on the connector it's less likely that the connector is gonna burn and I had the hot air station at 375 degrees I mean it's very easy to burn this connector we have to create the balance between how far we have to be from the connector and the uh, temperature. Let's test to make sure we have a continuous path from here to right here. Very good. So now we're going to test to see if touch is working. And touch is not working. Touch is still not working. Uh, one filter I want to test is this one on the right side. And I do see a hole on that filter. So most likely this is a bad filter here that we also need to change. And yes, it's blown. Look at this. It's broken in half. Very good. Okay. And touch is still not working. 
Okay, so what else is wrong? We replaced two blown filters and we still do not have a touch. I mean, the screen may be faulty or the FEC connector could or may be faulty as well. But uh, I want to take another look and see maybe if we see anything else. Uh, I scratched this pad here so we can see if this filter is making a connection with this pad here. And yes, yes. All good. This is good. And this is good. Oh, look at this. Look at this here. We have three missing components. Those missing components are filters. No ground pads, which means that those components are most likely filters. And like I said, we do not have any schematics or board diagrams for the iPad Pros, none of the iPad Pros. And even if we do have the schematics, we need the board diagram in order to know where the components are located. I'm going to use the soldering iron just to press on it so I can hold it in place. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the other one and the third one. And then we can reflow all three components. We need one more. See, I just put some flux on the tip. And the component sticks onto the tweezers. Okay, so all three components are in place. All I need to do is just reflow those components and we should be all good. Very nice. All the components reflow down in place. Let's quickly test to see if we have a continuous path between one end of the filter and the uh, FEC connector. Very nice. Uh, just installed SSDs on those two laptops for a customer and did the same thing with a desktop. So today is the SSD day. Okay, screen is connected. Let's turn it on. Let's see.
Yes. Touch is working. <laughs> Touch is working. Whoa. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's switch cameras. And look at this. Look at this. So how many components did we change on this tablet? One, two, three, four, five, five components. I'm glad the tablet worked because the next step was to change the FEC connector and possibly try another screen. Customer's gonna be happy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video. Mm -hmm.